We're here with Jacqueline Strong, and Jacqueline, third place today on a big money day. So, you know, it's great to come out. Made the trip down from Fairfield, Connecticut. You know, not a bad trip. It's not like you're going to Mammoth or going to uh, Glen Helen. Yeah. But we're so glad you made it, and what a great finish. Yeah, I'm so happy we were able to make it. Pump they put the race on again this year. Uh, it's just as good, and hopefully it'll keep growing. Um, the toughest part of the drive is going through dang New York City. You don't have to deal with that on the West Coast, but that traffic <laughs> that traffic can make a three-hour drive, a five-hour drive. But other than that, it was awesome being down here. It's my first race back, you know, since last year. So uh, it was a lot of fun. I was glad that, you know, Marissa was here and Tricker, and they had a good, good like, variety of speeds. I think it was really fun for everybody. So you made the big move. You moved from the West Coast to the, to the East Coast. I did. And that's got to be a big one for you. Bit of a culture shock. I mean, I like it so far. We went home for a wedding last week and almost died because it was like 113. <laughs> so I do like the weather. I do like that. But uh, we get spoiled on the West Coast. Being able to ride every day and you have a variety of tracks. And here I can hardly find anything that's open besides the weekend. So it's been different. And it just decided when I first got out here, it was snowing and it would be sunny and then it would snow again. So. The weather and all the inconsistencies have made a little little bumpy ride, but um, I'm really, really excited now. And we finally, I think, have a program. We just bought a truck, and now we have the bike. So we should be able to get on the bike a lot more now. So that's really cool. Out of everybody out there today, everybody's on four strokes except you. Yeah. You're a 252 <laughs> stroke. How did that feel? Oh, I love it. I mean, it felt good. Uh, Amanda was saying she knew when it was me behind her, and I was like, well, duh. I mean, that's the only, that's a pretty recognizable sound. I was saying I couldn't tell if it was her or Annie behind me because it's a red fender and it sounds the same. But, uh, yeah, I love the two strokes. I think they're an awesome bike, especially with, you know, with the economy and the way the series has been. It's a much more affordable approach if you can ride them. And I have a ball on them. Like, I always told my dad when the first time I rode one, I was like, when I'm like 40 and not riding anymore, like professionally, like I want a two-stroke. Like I love riding two-strokes. So I'm, I'm happy I have the opportunity to do that now. All right, let's talk, let's go over the race. Two solid thirds and a lot of fast company around you. And even a local girl finishing up the fourth, uh, oh, yeah. Annie Wernick. Uh, how did it feel and, and how did you, you know, how did you deal with it, with all the riders out there? I felt pretty good. You know, I thought my stamina was still like where it was. I mean, it definitely was off pace, but uh, from where it was, but uh, I was able to hold it. I think if anything, I stretched out the gap at the end of the moto, which was, which was nice. Um, but it's real different, you know, even though I've been on the bike a few times. So when you get behind the gate, um, you know, it was, it was awesome. It was like a really exciting feeling, but rode a little tight, a little nervous, you know, and the company was uninvited, but I'm glad it worked out the way it did and we all had a good time. Um, but yeah, it was it was a good race. You know, like I, uh, like I said, it looked like Marissa and Tricker had a good battle and there was probably like three to five of us, depending on the moto that were, you know, in that second to fifth position. And there were all sorts of little packs. So it was, I think it was exciting for everybody to watch. Now, second moto, you had to get past Amanda Brown. And that was that was that was a pretty tight battle with the, you and Andy Wernig. So, uh, you know, just go over that a little bit. Yeah. Where, did, where did you finally get her? Um, I got her actually just after the finish line, after the tabletop. I mean, sorry, after the start. Uh, there's a tabletop into a sharp left, and uh, Amanda had been going outside, and I think she knew I was real close, so she went to cover inside. But I just took a further inside, and it worked to my advantage, and I came out ahead, you know. But we had kind of bumped pretty good in the first one too. It was kind of like a third party that had pushed me into her a domino effect and that wasn't nice. So we had talked about it after. I was like, I didn't mean to, I'm so sorry. And we are joking about it. And then after the second motor, she's like, gosh darn it again. Like, and I was like, I'm sorry, that one was a love tap. Like that one was all like my doing, but I was like, I knew it wouldn't like knock you over. So, but uh, we had a good time. Amanda and I are good friends. I don't really know Annie too well, but I, I mean, I've heard Amanda talk about her. So it was awesome. I think they were super close. And like I said, that second moto, I had no idea who, who it was. I knew it was Annie or Amanda, but either way, I obviously didn't want to get past. So it was good. We were all close. Well, I'll tell you what, Annie probably appreciates your lines. <laughs> I think she latched onto your back fender and you carried her right on through. Yeah, it was and, awesome. And uh, just a great job. Thank you so much. All right. Jacqueline Strong from Fairfield, Connecticut, third place in the second annual Women's Pro-Am here at Blue Diamond.